Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Fish of Hex. Today is an unscripted video, something that I just did not plan on making, but because a lot of you guys are using these Jabo Powerheads, I figured I would make this just to warn you ahead of time of the mistake I just made and has cost me a couple hundred bucks. So, um, you guys know that I've been using the WP40s, the PP8s, and now the uh, PP20s. I've been using them here in the 300. I had no issues. Uh, I've been using them for a few years, other than the fact that the manufacturing process has kind of took a shit, and they don't, they're not as reliable as they used to be, but they still are relatively good powerhead for the price. Now, over the last few years, I've always cleaned them the same exact way. What I do is I take all the powerheads out of the tank, I put them in a five gallon bucket with distilled white vinegar, and I let them run at 100% for about 12 hours. At that point, I'll go ahead and clean every one of them individually, and then rinse them off and put them back in the tank, and we're good to go for another six months. Now, I figured I would just do the same thing this time, and well, it didn't work out the way I wanted to. Um, so I went ahead and put uh, three of the um, WP40s, I gotta finish cleaning the last one here, and um, two of the PP8s in a five gallon bucket, again, um, just about that full, almost, almost five gallons with distilled white vinegar, and then I let them run at 100% for a couple hours. Now, I came back, and uh, my phone's gonna die soon, so I gotta hurry this up. Well, I came back, and uh, the bucket was a little warm. So I was like, okay, well, that's normal. It usually gets a little warm with the power heads in there. So I went out and did some stuff and came back a few more hours later and noticed that the bucket was starting to warp because it got so hot. I'm like, okay, well, that's a huge freaking problem. So I immediately turned them off, and I didn't really realize there was a problem until this morning when I went to uh, clean these uh, PP20s. Now, basically what happened was it got so hot that the PP20s actually warped on the inside and you can barely, I mean, you can't turn this, and you can barely get it out. You can feel that it's warped on the inside. It's only with the PP20s, the PP or WP40s are fine, no issues, they've cleaned up and they're gonna work out just fine. But for these PP20s, um, this is my very first time cleaning these and apparently the method that I've been using for all this time is not suitable for that. And if you're gonna do it that way, I wouldn't turn these ones on. If you have other power heads, turn those on, but I would leave these off because they get really, really hot apparently. So hot that they almost melt the five gallon bucket and they kill themselves. So I'm, I'm basically out a couple hundred bucks, which sucks. And the fact that, um, you know, I only have three WP40s left when I used to have four and the other one died just a couple months ago. I'm just like getting bent over here when it comes to power heads. Now, oh yeah i'm gonna have to get myself some for christmas i am going to get these pp20s again because they are really really good they're very strong and eventually i plan on replacing the wp40s with the pp20s um, i just didn't feel like spending another couple hundred bucks uh, right now considering the fact that they were working fine i haven't had them that long and then i just killed both of them in about 12 hours so yeah that's my story and it sucks. So if you are cleaning these power heads, there are many, many different methods of doing it. This is just one that I, again, I've been using for a few years. No problems, it's always worked out, never had a problem. But if you're using a really powerful power head and it's something that can just create a lot of heat and you don't realize it, that's gonna be a problem. So keep an eye on it and uh, yeah. So hopefully you guys can learn from my lessons and it just goes to show that no matter uh, what you think you know, it's never enough, and that's just part of growing and experience in the hobby. And I always take things like this as a lesson learned, and, and the fact that I can share it with you guys will hopefully save you some money in the long run. So that's about it for me. I gotta let you go because my phone is going to die, and um, I don't feel like charging it and then trying to figure out what I was talking about. So uh, I won't see you for the rest of the week. I won't see you next week, and I won't see you probably until after the new year. So have a uh, good Christmas not Thanksgiving, and have a happy new year, and um, I'll see you guys later, all right? Peace.